This is a model of your pelvis, hips, and spine. We are looking at this from the front, and what you'll see right in the front is your pubic bone, that's right here. Up on the side is what's called your iliac crest, that's the, uh, what people tend to refer to as their hip, but it's the big ridge on your side. This actually forms the socket for your hip, and you can see it's a big ball and socket joint that will move around the line, it ranges of motion in every direction. This bump here is actually called your greater trochanter, and that's if you press your finger deep into the side of your hip, that's the bony bump you'll feel there. If we look in a little closer, again we're looking from the front, this triangle bone down through here is your sacrum, and that's your tailbone. A sacrum forms the base for your spine to sit on, so this is your L5 vertebrae, L4, L3, and so on as you go up. Each of these guys in between are what are called your discs. They act as shock absorbers for the spine, and they are filled with a, a jelly-like substance to help sh absorb shock. And there's actually an example of a disc herniation if we look at this from the side. You can see at every level there's a little hole here um, in which nerves come out from your spinal cord. Each one of those nerves supplies a muscle group and some sensation down your leg. You can see if you get a herniation, which is the bulging of that jelly in the disc, it usually comes out right around where the nerves do, and that can create an extreme amount of pain. These bottom few nerves all join together and come run down deep through your butt, down the back of your leg, and form what's called your sciatic nerve. 